Do you know what a pretzel's favorite dance is? No. What? It's the twist. Hey guys, I'm Kelsey and meet my Miko Mini. This AI software powered mini robot is great for learning, play, ingenuity, and is used by some of our favorite brands for our littles. Let me show you why I think this toy is great for your little ones and some of the things I would watch out for. Welcome to our playtime with the Miko Mini. I've <laughs> gone through all the setup here. You have to set up a Miko Mini parent app first, and then you set up the Miko Companion app, which you'll see back here on my tablet. Miko is running mm. and listening right now. Sure, I can help you set up the Miko Companion app on your tablet. It's like when you first download a game and then create your account to start playing. Hey, you've switched off my mic. Switch it back on whenever you're ready to talk. So Miko is highly interactive. I've been playing with her for a few minutes about Ocean Explorers. She interacts very well with questions and asks questions of children. This profile I have created for someone my son's age, around eight years old. I'm gonna set Miko to the side here. And interests like science, games, and math, and music. So you can see there's a lot of games here and interactions, but when you click on them, it doesn't seem to interact with Miko too much. I'm still exploring that side of things. Miko comes with some basic paperwork, including this large poster. Let's see, I'll move you back a little bit so you can see it. This large poster talks about how Miko was made and how you can have adventures. Again, there are two apps here at play. You have the Miko Parent app, which can edit the child's profile and can help you set up specific interests for your child. And then you have the Miko Companion app, which has these games. So there's a lot of math games in here that don't feel like math and they are learning. And now let's interact with Miko a little bit and I'll show you a little bit about her. Bippity hi. I'm in a jolly mood. Do you know what a pretzel's favorite dance is? No. What? It's the twist. <laughs> Here's another one. Do you know how to get a mouse to smile? No. Say cheese. <laughs> I know a lot more jokes that'll crack you up. Just say, hey, Miko, and then say, tell me a joke. Hey, Miko, mm -hmm. can we do story time? You got it. As we enter the fantastic world of stories, remember these things. If you want to hear the story again, say, hey, Miko, repeat. To hear another story, say, hey, Miko, tell me a different story. You can exit the story by saying, hey, Miko, stop. And if you forget these keywords, simply say, hey, Miko, help. I'll guide you through it again. Are you in the mood for beauty and the beast or Rapunzel? Hmm? Rapunzel. Oh, this one's fun. Rapunzel. Rapunzel, once upon a time, a young couple lived near an enchanted garden. But no one ever set foot in the garden because it was owned by a witch. One day, the wife, who was expecting a baby, 
began to crave spring leaves from the witch's garden. Her husband bravely picked leaves of a plant named Rapunzel. The witch caught him. Okay, review time. What did I think of the Miko Mini? I think this is a new age type of toy. AI is permeating so many places in our lives these days and our kids' toys are no exception. The setup is a little bit cumbersome to me only because it involves two different apps and connecting to Wi-Fi. I understand why and it does make it more secure so it doesn't take anything away from it, but it is something to warn you about. I love that she's interactive, she listens, she's emotionally intelligent and grows with your child based on where they were born and their interests. All around, this is a great toy, a great investment, even if you're a house with multiple children since each child can have their own profile with Miko. Two huge thumbs up, I loved this toy, definitely gonna wanna grab it.